Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on image classification using TensorFlow. In this part of the video, we will learn how to load data on the go. That means instead of loading all the data at one shot, we will load the data when we need the data to be trained on the model. So let's get started. First, you need to download the code from my GitHub repository and the link for it is in the description. I have downloaded the code. Second, you need to download the data set from Kaggle. The link for the data set is also in the description. I have downloaded the data set on my local computer. There are basically three folder train, valid and test. Inside train and valid there are six subfolder each for a class and images of that particular class are inside that folder. Now in the test folder there is another folder called test and inside that we have images for testing purpose. I will explain why we have one more folder inside test in the upcoming section of the video. So let's get started. I will open the code into Visual Studio Code. The first thing you need to do is create a virtual environment and install the required packages. So there is a requirements.txt file. You can use pip install hyphen r requirements.txt to install into your virtual environment these packages. Once you activate your environment and install the packages, we are good to go with the code section. So first we will learn how to load data. For that, we are going to use image data generator. So you can search for that class here and inside TF Keras pre-processing image, we have image data generator. So you can read here, generate batches of tensor image data with real time data augmentation. So these are the different kind of augmentation you can have. So let's first load the required packages. Now I have created an object of image data generator and I have just used fairly simple amount of uh, augmentation like rotation, width and height shift, horizontal and vertical flip and zoom. You can read more about different kinds of augmentation here. There is one argument which is very important in case you don't have validation data. If you only have train and test data, you can use validation split to split the train data into validation and training set. So I have created the object. Now image data generator object have two methods that we are going to look flow from data frame and flow from directory. So that means load the data when it is needed from a data frame or load the image data whenever it is needed from the directory. We are going to look into both the methods. So let's first see flow from directory. So flow from directory. These are the argument you can provide. First is directory, target image size, color mode, classes, class mode, batch size you want to shuffle or not. And you can read more about the arguments here. So if you look here, class mode is very critical argument that whether your data is categorical or binary classification. Also, in case you want to create a test data generator, then you can provide none as well. So let's see here. So what I have done is I have provided the directory path, which is inside my 
data set and train folder and I have used ospath.join to avoid any errors based on operating system. So inside data set, I have a train folder and inside that we have six classes folder. So that is according to data set. My target size is 256, 256 color mode is RGB and class mode is categorical. So when I'll run this, we see that it has found uh, around 14K images of six classes. Now let's load the test and validation data. A small note here, since we have train and validation folder separate, that's why we are using in this way. Otherwise, what you can do is that you use validation split here and then from the train generator object, you can you know flow from directory and provide the same directory but you provide subset this argument inside flow from directory subset means either it is training or validation so you can create two this kind of train generator and valid generator and you provide subset for training training and for validation validation i hope you understand that now we will create a test data generator Inside that, we will not use any augmentation, only rescale the image. Again, the same arguments, path to the directory, uh, target size, color mode and class mode. For test data generator, there is a small change here. You can see class mode. So when you provide class mode as none, it will not yield the labels it will only yield the images that means whenever you want to fetch images from test generator it will only provide images not the label and that's why its class mode is none also there is one more thing that we need to put one more folder around the images test images that's why there is test and under test folder otherwise it will not load the images and you can read that here uh, if we go here on the image data generator uh, no no not from here from here if we go here is class mode is categorical and if you read here if none no labels are written the generator will only yield batches of image data which is useful to use with model dot predict generator please note that in case of class mode none the data still needs to reside in a sub directory and that's why we have created this test folder inside test folder so i hope you understand this now let's run this so you can see we have 3000 images of six class for validation and around 7000 images of one class for testing. So this is how you can you know load the data from a folder or you can say flow from directory. Now let's look into another method flow from data frame. So here you can see we need a data frame and again the directory where the data is an X column and Y column. So this is file name and class. In case you don't want to provide the directory since you can see it is it has default none argument. So if you don't want to provide the directory, you can provide X column as the file path, absolute file path of the images. So what I will do here, I will generate a CSV file to use with image generator and th this will provide the absolute path of the images. So let me run this. This function is again self-explanatory. Here I will create a train data frame. So you can see I have absolute path of the image and corresponding label. 
now let me create a valid data frame okay we have valid data frame again you can see there is absolute path of the image and corresponding label and let me create the test data frame as well for test data frame all the images will have label 0 but since we know that when we provide the class mode as none this label doesn't matter now i will create an object of image data generator and i'll create train generator so let me run this you can see we got around 14k images of six classes again i'll create a test data gen and from that we'll use flow from data frame provide the data frame x column y column target size color mode and class mode for test it will be none so i'll run this so we got 3000 images for validation and 7000 images for uh, testing purpose now let's see the image data generator so if we look into image oh sorry it is train data gen if you look train data gen it is pre-processing image data generator object uh, let me look into zero that means zeroth batch oh sorry it's uh, not image data gen image generator sorry for that so image generator is a data frame iterator now if i you know first just simply take a length of it we will see we have 439 batches and let's let's see the zeroth batch so this is the zeroth batch and zeroth batch will have two things first on the zero images and on the first section labels okay so this is one hot encoding of the label so let's say zero that means images and inside let's see the length first i think it will be 32 yeah so we have in the zeroth batch we have 32 images and let's see the first image so this is the first image okay so let's try to visualize the first image so i have created this small piece of code this will take valid generator zeroth batch zero that means images and one that means labels so it will take the ith image from valid generator and show it so we will create a two by three uh, plot okay you can see here also i have taken the argmax from the valid generator so we have this this one hot encoding and when you take r max you get the label another way to you know plot the same graph using uh, subplot and figure and axis this will you know uh, do the same thing but in another way okay you can see we got the images and a nice clean plot so i hope you understand this section of the video series we have loaded the data using two method flow from directory and flow from data frame see you in the next section of the video if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel and share this video it helps peace